This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 10, Building an App, Part 7. You try it. Pick a button at random to make a different color. We've included the code discussed on the previous page below. Right, between our new friends, uh, Alexis and Michael, they were talking about this uh, here. The last lines of your code should look something like this. Yes, I already have that. Oh, is that a 20? Interesting. I guess they're adding a bit of blue to it. Okay, and then we need a new variable. So I'm going to grab my variable right here. And again, traditionally variable declarations go at the top, but we'll do what they're asking. Brand button ID. And now what we're going to be setting this equal to is the string button, right? Button plus random number. And what that will do, it's going to concaten concatenate whatever random number is chosen from this random number um, function. And it will be either one, two, three, or four. And it slaps it on the end of the string. So it becomes one big string that says button one, two, three, or four, which just so happens to be their properties. Right, that's their property ID. So then we can use it to assign a color randomly. It's kind of a neat little trick. And JavaScript does this automatically, right? It converts it to a string just knowing that the button is a string, this word, because it is in quotes. And one of the nice features of a language like JavaScript is that even though this is going to return a number or an integer, it will still work flawlessly. So what we need is the word button here. And we will need random number. And the options are going to be 1 through 4. And then we're going to set the property to random button ID. And now this is a variable, so I need to get rid of these quotes. Rand button ID. Background color, different color. Suggestion, add council log rand button ID. Some Oh, okay, let's go ahead and do that because then you can also see the uh, council log. Uh, you can also see what this new string looks like that we create. So I'm going to log the variable rand button ID. All right, let's see. So it should be button one. That's a bit different. All right. And if it's hard for you to see here, let's just, this is not something I should do, but I'm going to go something like that. Oh, ah, uh, run. Okay. And I could even go a bit more. Yeah, I guess this will change it more. Just uh, for testing purposes, I'm going to add a two here. And yep, button three button two, right? And you can double check. And these are the ones changing. And notice it's a string, right? That just looks normal like this, right? Like the uh, property ID should be. I'm going to change this back and that should. Yeah, awesome. I can already see how this is going to be kind of a fun little uh, game. Let's keep going.